All right, guys. Well, we're out here for our first check. We're at the beaver pond here. We're going to head back in this cove over here and uh, check those last sets. We're going to kind of work our way back around. Then go ahead and check these sets, see what we caught. Hopefully we got a beaver or two. All right, we're pulling up to the first few sets here. Nothing really looks to be moved or messed with. Don't know how to take that. Or actually those sticks are moved there. I think I just hit something. Yeah, those sticks are definitely moved there. So we might have something in this one here. I'm gonna come park the boat up over here and we'll get out and check these sets real quick. Those sticks kind of look moved too. Coming in hot. I'll go ahead and leave my motor down. Well, I don't see anything floating, but I don't mean we don't have anything. I think we got something in this one. Definitely think we have something in this one, guys. Sure feels like it. Oh yeah. Nice beaver in that one. Yeah, that's a real nice beaver there. All right. Well, there's one. Come over here to that. What do I do with my other stick? Come over here to this other set. That's awesome. I can still see my foothold over here. I can still see my foothold over there guarding the caster mound. Well guys, you can see our sticks here are knocked free and this cable's tight. I wouldn't be surprised if we got another beaver right here. Looks like those sticks are moved too. Oh boy. Well, that ain't good. That ain't good at all. Huh. How in the world did that happen? All right, well, I'll have to get down in there and fish around for that one. He couldn't have got far. Actually, I feel it right there. That's definitely my trap. Now, I don't know if it's set or if there's anything in it. Huh. It's got weight. Oh boy. Guys, did we get lucky there? Holy cow. Oh man, that's a big beaver too. Oh wow. Now how 
I don't understand how it came untied here. I don't know. I mean, that's a big beaver there, guys. And we should have another trap. Oh, it's right there. I, f I forgot there is a bank down there, but I didn't set a trap. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we got two beaver out of these last four sets we set yesterday. Uh, we do have a set over on the other side still yet. Go ahead and come over here and check it too. It's just right here. Man. It looks like it's still set. Yep, that one there's still set. Then I'll have to get back in the boat and head over there and check those traps. I need to get these beaver out of these traps and get these uh, sets remade. So, uh, I'm gonna work on doing that real quick. I'm gonna get these beaver out. And then uh, I'll try to get some video of resetting. And that's awesome. It's a big old beaver there, guys. Big old beaver. Oh yeah. Yep, all right guys, I'm gonna work on getting these things out of here. And then I'll get the uh, camera turned back on these are both good sized beaver here real good sized beaver all right y'all well i just got this uh kind of bear reset and uh god guys i can't i still can't believe i almost lost this thing i got super lucky there this is a really really nice sized beaver and it could have easily taken my uh trap with it I must have just been in a hurry yesterday and didn't secure the trap when I thought I did. Thing's got a bunch of sores all over it. Big old tail. That's a big beaver, guys. That's 50, 60 pound beaver there. Throw him in here with his buddy. <laughs> yep. Yep, guys, we still got a few more sets to check. I'm gonna go ahead and get these traps ready. I'm gonna get them remade. All right, guys. Well, hopefully my GoPro doesn't die. I'm gonna try to re re uh, show how I set these bank dens. Uh, the bank dens right under here. Um, I found this by just walking around with my stick and feeling around. And it it's a hard bottom right here, guys. Hard bottom. I gotta remember to stake this down quick. I don't understand what happened there. I can't believe I, I don't, I, guys, I honestly don't know really what happened here. I do this to all my conibears and there's no way that should come undone. I must have just goofed and not had it set right, I guess. I, it's about the only thing I can think of. Just gonna stick this down as far as I can, guys. I'm pulling on that thing pretty hard and it ain't budging. Uh, when you're trapping for beaver, anchor for an elephant because, guys, they are super strong animals. Do not underestimate the power of a beaver. So now I'm literally sticking my leg up in the run. It's a pretty wide one. I'm looking for the narrowest spot. I'm gonna take the stick. I'm just gonna run it over until I hit the side. I'm gonna shove that stick down in there as far as I can. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Put the stick in the middle of the run. You can kind of feel with your foot. Get it to the side. Jam that baby in there. Jam it in there good. So now that's my run right up in there, guys. So now what I'm gonna do is take my trap the old trusty old duke 330 man that's awesome guys i can't believe that beaver didn't get away these things are powerful traps as you can see in that video i won't cut it at all you'll see that it didn't really go that far so now there's our trap 
we got it set i'm gonna go ahead and just take it over the springs which that safety come off i'm gonna go ahead and pop it back on there for my safety we're just gonna run it down the run it down the sticks guys keep your feet out of there keep your feet out of the run oh now i'm not gonna be able to take my safeties off go ahead and pop that safety off since it's causing me trouble same with this one guys just be super cautious while using these traps super cautious guys these traps aren't something to mess with so now literally all we're doing is running this trap all the way down these sticks down into the bottom of the run all the way down in the bottom i'm just going to squeeze out on those springs and that's going to hold it solid there and that's all i do that trap's set and ready for another one you can see our caster mound here there's our trap we just got bridger number two up there there's a caster mound i do have another set right here if i had to guess it's still good yep that one's still set guys that's what i like about these fiberglass rods i can literally feel everything with it it's just a little bitty fiberglass rod i use them to mark my set locations so that one's reset we're gonna get down here and set the next one all right guys i am standing in this run again it's a hard bottom run shooting straight up under this root wad i believe they're getting a lodge started here this was one of my sticks though and here was my other one it's stuck up there and it's got fresh chewings it looks like there's a beaver over here chewing on it again literally just cramming that thing down in there as far as i can guys you want it to be sturdy super sturdy i'm gonna move my legs around in here make sure there isn't any sticks in the way when i run this kind bear down i don't want it to uh, set off so I'll make sure there's nothing in the way go ahead and get this thing reset going on here there we go I like running my triggers right in the middle right in the middle make sure the dogs nice and straight on it that safety came off so I'm gonna go ahead and get it off my leg before I'm wearing it all right same thing guys I'm just gonna run it straight down the stakes and try to get it all the way down in the bottom go ahead and take my safeties off because when i'm running it down guys i'm not holding it by the top i'm holding it way out here just in case it does go off hopefully it won't get me so now i'm literally just going to run this thing straight down straight down until I can feel it hit the bottom which it feels like it's there and I'm just once I get it all the way on the bottom I'm just spreading them springs out all right this one should be good for another catch if there's anything else living in there so now I'm gonna back away I didn't want to yank that i'm just gonna back away you don't want to get your feet up in there guys or you'll be wearing that thing all right so two out of four sets right here produced a nice beaver we're gonna go ahead and hop back in the boat and head to the other side and see what else hopefully we got another one over there by the lodge all right just like that we're off like a prom dress we're gonna boogie around the corner here and see what else we got. Hopefully we got another one, that'd be sweet. 
I figured by all the chewing and all the damage, all the fresh sign, I figured there's a litter of kits in here as well. We'll see in the next day or two if we pick up any small ones or if these are the only two we catch. We'll just have to wait and see, guys. Nothing really looks messed up over here as far as I can tell which I don't have the main entrance going straight into the run here. I do not have it set right now. But uh, I do have a couple banked ins and this one here set, so. I'm not seeing anything. Well, that don't always mean there ain't nothing there. Bail off the side of the boat, grab my stick. All right, looks like this one's still set. This one's still set as well. If I had to guess, this one probably is too. It's pretty deep out here on this one. I can see my swivel stick still there. I just poke in the front and behind it. I can feel it's rock solid there. And then I can also run it down this stick here and I can feel my springs. And they are still set. Cause you gotta think guys, you know, when the springs are set for a little example with these corn sticks, what I'm feeling for is when them springs aren't, when this, when it's sprung, them springs are opened up like that. You know, so I can feel, okay, I hit one side of the spring, there's a big gap, and then the other side. Well, when they're set, they're like this, so you can feel it. You'll literally feel one, and then you'll feel the other one right off the bat. That way you don't have to keep pulling that thing in and out to uh, check it, if that makes sense. That one's still set. And I did check the caster mound we put down on the dam already because it's right by the truck. I just checked it quick when I hopped out and it was still ready. There wasn't anything in it. So yeah, we got these two beaver here and we'll be back tomorrow to see if there's any more. Thanks for coming along guys. I like making these videos and these are two real nice beaver. Uh, when I get home, I'll, if I remember, I'll try to weigh them and see what they weigh. But yeah, guys, I'm super pumped. Thanks for coming along. All right, guys. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm totally digging my little John boat on this beaver, this beaver trap in here. Uh, it's such a deadly little unit. It's a 12 foot John boat. I got a 30 pound thrust Minn Kota on the back. It's the old legend battery from Napa. If I didn't have this boat, guys, I'd be having to carry the beaver all the way from that point, all the way around, all the way around here, and all the way over to the truck over there, since I can't drive out here right now. It's too moist, we've been getting rain, the ground's not froze. I don't rep people's stuff up. I try my best not to, so, yeah, we're sitting here and we brought the boat out, and guys, it's, it's making this. It is making this enjoyable. Normally I don't enjoy beaver trapping, but I won't forget these ones. We're going to get them up to the truck and uh, we're going to get out of here, guys. Guys, well, I just got home and I figured I'd try to weigh these beaver real quick. Go ahead and get a weight and see what we're looking at here. All right, that one says 36, 37, somewhere in there. We'll call it 37 pounds. There on that one, which I figured it was about 35 pounds. I'm going to go ahead and 
try to zero this out. Go ahead and shut it off and turn it back on. All right. Now this one, I'm guessing it's between 55, 60 pounds. Hopefully it's somewhere in there and my scale will read it. Make sure we're all zeroed out. Yep, we're zeroed out. Oh. 57. Yep. 57 pounds, guys. 57 on the bigger one there. So, uh, yeah, we got about 80 pounds worth of beaver here. Whew. That's awesome. I'm glad I had that boater. I'd had to carry them a long ways. This one's been smoking cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, thanks for coming along. Um, if you like these kind of videos, go ahead and give me a like. Drop a comment. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Ring that little bell up in the corner so you know when I upload. You'll get a little notification that I uploaded a video. And uh, yeah, guys, we'll be back out tomorrow to check again. And uh, honestly, hopefully I don't catch any more, but I'm guessing there's a few smaller ones in there as well and maybe another big one. I'm not really confident in that, but... You don't really know until you start catching them so i'm gonna go ahead and let these things dry and i'm gonna have to skin them tomorrow night take it easy guys thanks for coming along